Fergus and Marsley helped Murtaugh escape from jail. While many are excited for Murtaugh to be free, there is a worry for one of our favorite couples. What will Fergusley do next on Outlander? There's one thing certain when it comes to the end of an Outlander season. Storylines come together to leave us wondering about the future. That's definitely the case for Fergus and Marsley's storyline. I'll state now that this post won't contain anything from the fiery cross. It's a speculation post to focus on what could happen and what the plans were for Fergusley and Providence. The last we saw of Fergus and Marsley, they were helping Murtaugh escape. Whether it seemed odd or not that Marsley helped Fergus, it happened and Marsley was ready with a cart full of belongings to get them away. It's the cart of belongings that is the important thing to focus on. When discussing the plan to help Murtaugh, Fergus brought up the offer to live on Fraser's Ridge. Claire and Jamie have always made it clear that there is the offer to live on the ridge. The two just had to decide when would be right for them. That time is now. It makes sense since it's clear that there's no work for Fergus in Wilmington. Nobody is willing to take on a man with just one hand. Marsley is the one carrying most of the weight with her sewing and while I love that they're a team, it's clear that the lack of work is getting to Fergus. Getting to the ridge really will be the best thing for them. Why did it take them so long? In Drums of Autumn, Marsley wasn't even around at first. She was in Jamaica, pregnant with her and Fergus' first child and Fergus went back to her. It was only halfway through the book that Marsley and Fergus were in Wilmington with a baby in arms. So, it's not surprising the show writers kept them separate with both in Wilmington during season 4.